One of my favorite Shakespearean quotes is, more or less, I'm probably gonna butcher it, that life is a stage and we are all but its actors. Which I think is a really cool idea because it recognizes that this world, this spheroid, oblate spheroid that we're, you know, fumbling around all the time, that it is the stage that we get to exist on. And we, on the stage, get to choose how we participate. Sure, we may have actors coming from stage left, interacting with us in a scene, and then leaving forevermore heartbroken or inspired. You never know. But the beauty of all of this is that we, as actors, get to choose what scenes we're going to participate in, how we're going to participate in them, as well as what our wants, desires, and the why behind we, why we do what we do. Unfortunately, within society, we have created this narrative that the accumulation of goods and items, inanimate objects, is the, you know, the American dream. A dog, a house, a wife, a husband, half a dog, something like that. And that is the vision, the dream of this reality. But this vision, this dream that is pitched to us is merely a marketing tactic in order to get us to participate uh, very hard in this race towards a dream that we have been sold. And once you start breaking it down, you realize that the thing you want isn't necessarily money or riches. It's the time and the resources to do the things you want to do. Maybe you have a hobby that you want to pursue, or maybe you want to travel, or maybe you just want to give generously and to invest in your friends and your families and their lifestyles so that they are not paralyzed by the burden and anxieties of scarcity, not having enough. Maybe just putting food on the table for somebody who's been starving or giving somebody a little extra tip so that they have the ability to do the things they want to do. It can be transformative. So you as an actor get to decide which direction you're going to go and how you're going to do it. You know, it's sort of like the books at Hoth are written by Herman Hess, where you're following the journey of essentially Buddha and the path to Nirvana. You experience the quest for knowledge, the quest for uh, pleasure, the quest for money, the, all of these different desires that we experience as humans and ultimately letting them go so that you can attain enlightenment when you're no longer looking towards the phenomenal world, the outside world for the pleasures that you need, then you finally have that inner peace and that sense of nirvana. So, <laughs> Ramadi time, Daniel doing, excessive, going on and on. You, if you view yourself as an actor, you'll recognize that doing funny voices or doing comedy or making music or just you know, lounging around and appreciating the environment you get, you've been tossed in, that that too is the stage that you're interacting in. And spontaneity, never hurt anyone. You know, just changing the accent from time to time or telling a little pun, something, something, something. You know, you have so many options. So that's the thought for today, you know, just, have fun with it. Don't take life too seriously. That's the big one. Because a lot of human beings take life very seriously, and they take their opinions very seriously, and then they become contentious towards their fellow constituents. And since the general idea here is just to open our minds to view the world in different lenses, you know, never, not one is greater than the others, more or less, but it gives you options for things to play with. So, thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a lovely night. Toodles.